Greetings, everyone, and welcome to round 37 of Japanese B-League basketball. The hottest team in the competition, the Chiba Jets, today hosting Levanga Hokkaido at the Funabashi Arena just north of Chiba City Center. I'm Darren Kilfera, delighted to be with you here for this battle between Eastern Conference foes. Chiba Jets currently third in the East, Levanga Hokkaido seventh, second from bottom in the conference. Hokkaido 21st out of the 24 teams currently in the B League. You see the Eastern Conference standings there with Chiba 23 and 13. They were 13 and 13, but a 10 game winning streak for John Patrick's boys have gotten them right back into the thick of the playoff race. Just behind a Toyota Alvac and Utsunomiya Brex. One and two in the standings, but nobody would want to face Chiba if the playoffs were to start today. Long way to go in this 60 game regular season before that is upon us. But with Lavanga trying to rally, you see the Chiba lineup today. Yuka Togashi, Xavier Cooks, Shutahara, John Mooney, and Ira Brown, the starting five for the home side here. Tagashi, the third leading scorer in the competition, averaging 20 and a half points per game. For Lavanga, Thomas Welsh still out. He dislocated his shoulder on the 28th of January against the Shinshu Brave Warriors. He is much missed, the former Denver Nugget in the NBA. But Dwight Ramos, the Filipino, he had his best game of the year on Sunday, 25 points in a win over Yokohama. Also starting for Lavanga, Ren Shimatani, Daryl Willis Jr., Damon Brooks, and Kohei Sukino. You see on the right there, Ramos averaging 11.1 points per game this season. There he was. All right, you put back your pardon. That's Yuka Tagashi team and Xavier Cooks in Chiba's win, 89-82 over Hokkaido back on the 21st of January. This is their game against Osaka, the 89-77 win on Sunday, in which Cooks had 17 points. As for Levanga, Ramos mentioned his biggest game of the year on the road at Yokohama, a back-to-back -back sweep for Hokkaido on the road against the B Corsairs. 25 points, five assists, four rebounds, and three steals. And so he will be trying to score his 17th game of 10 points or more. And as the West Covina, California born a Filipino, he played in the World Cup last year for his national team. He'll be trying to help engineer a road upset for the Vanga Hokkaido. You see Xavier Cooks on the bench there. Now, the pregame introductions. One, two, three, the stadium with just over 4,000 capacity. Nearly full tonight. As Chiba, they had lost six of eight to fall from 11 and seven on the season to 13 and 13. After losing a pair of games to the current league leader, Santa Mia Phoenix, they have been on a roll. Wins back to back over Kyoto, then win versus Rapida Nova Happy Nets. Back to back wins over Lavanga on the 20th and 21st of January, part of this winning streak. 98 79 on the 20th of January, then 89 82 on the 21st. Toyota Browse's back-to-back games. They did defeat Toyota Alvark 75-74 on the last day of January before pulling off the back-to-back -back road wins at Osaka Avesa this past weekend. The 2021 the Japanese champions and four-time Emperor's Cup victors, including last season, they are not to be messed with. Current form. That's the final pre game antics from the cheerleading crew about to come to an end. We are not far away from the opening tip. 
here at the Funabashi Arena. It's a cross promotion day for the Jets with the Chiba Latte Marines, the Japanese baseball club, which will be starting their preseason action in a few weeks before opening day on the 29th of March. Concentrating on the basketball action this evening. The Chiba Jets against Lavanga Hokkaido. Hokkaido, not mathematically out of the playoff race just yet, but realistically, they are a long way out of the top eight. Remember, there are three conferences in the Japanese B League top division, B1. The top two teams in each conference, plus two other wild card clubs get through to the playoffs. Right now, Chiba would be the seventh seed. It's one of the two wild card entrants into the playoffs. But with them on this long winning streak, you got to think that they've got every chance of rising in the standings still further. They're just one game back of Mikawa and Ryukyu, the Okinawa-based club which upset Chiba in the Japanese playoff finals last year. targeting spot maybe top four because they have to catch up with Utsunomi of Rex if they wish to get one of the top two spaces in this uh, playoff places from the Houston Conference. And now, the starting lineup for your Chivo Jets. Number two, Yuki there is the star man, the, one of the smallest players on the court, Tagashi, five foot six. His best game of the year, 42 points against Lavanga back on the 20th of January. Xavier Cooks, then Shutahara, who plays kind of a bench role even though he starts most games. Ira Brown, John Mooney as well. Patrick. A lot of talent on John Patrick's team. His second year as the Chiba head coach. After a long spell with MHP Riesen Ludwigsburg in the German Bundesliga. Three time BBL coach of the year in Germany. And for Lavanga, there is Dwight Ramos, the first starter for them. Shimatani, who is averaging only 4.8 points per game. But Daryl Willis Jr., he just about averaging a double double this season. Kohei Sakino last out after Devon Brooks. And Lavanga shorthanded. Ryuto Utaro on a Deris team. Because of the absence of Thomas Welsh, who is second in the league in rebounds with 12.2 boards per game. But they have coped well without him in their last two games. As you see a refereeing crew for this contest. One coach is challenged per team allowed. With Ritaro Onodera, the Levanga head coach in his first season. Once again, the starting lineups. Shimatani should win the points for the Vanga with the American front court of Willis Jr. and Brooks. Ramos, 25 year old Filipino, his third professional season, all of them here in Japan. Second year with Lavanga after starting with the Toyama Grouses. And Chiba, not in their customary red home kit. They'll be wearing the blue colors of the Chiba Latte Marines. Slightly Odd combination with the red cords on show, but you see Tagashi his final moment free game. The ball is up and not contested. That tap Chiba's ball. And it 
is Tagashi to get his first offensive sequence going. Moody popping outside. This is Ira Brown, the former Gonzaga collegiate player in the States. Tagashi with the shot clock ticking down to nine. Goes up from the elbow and hits. Third in at D-League scoring. Tagashi this season, and he gets us off to a good shooting start. Vanga into the paint goes Ramos, but he was rejected. And here's Cooks back forward for Chiba. Puts the jump step and the finger roll for two. Vanga cannot afford to let Chiba open up a big lead even early in the game. Shimatani with a dive there into the corner for Sakino for three. He misses. Rebound by Mooney. Former Notre Dame fighting Irishman John Mooney. And into the paint, no good this time from Tagashi, but he was fouled. First of pace, running into the lane, and Tagashi shooting 86% from the free throw line this season. Or the second. So Tagashi with four early points. It's a six-nothing to the Jets lead. Shimatani. To Darrell Willis Jr. He lost the possession momentarily. Gets into the paint and scores the first points of the contest for Levanga. Mooney with the ball outside. Kahara, his best team of the year against Hokkaido. Back in January, he's that three-pointer way off the mark. This time from Togashi. Only shooting 33% from outside the three-point arc this season, Togashi. Japanese Olympian in Tokyo two and a half years ago. It's inside, nice layup there for Ren Shimatani. Point game. Brown. To Mooney. Hooks. The recent Washington Wizard. He can't get inside, and the ball falls kindly for Ramos. Jamon Brooks, the former Davidson University player, inside, and the game is tied up. Layup converted by Ramos. And so after the Jets scored the first six points of the game, Lavanga Hokkaido was six in a row of their own. And we are all tied up at the Funabashi Arena. between these two sides. Chiba having won all three games, 82-77 back on the 25th of October. A game in which Togashi led the Jets with 22 points. And then Togashi's 42 points, four assists, three rebounds, and two steals on the 20th of January. And Togashi with the ball. Chiba trying to go back in front. 
side layup not in from the Randy Kenny Chica, but the drop off and the stuff for Xavier Cooks. Cooks now with four. The Australian making it 8 6 for the Jets. Pressure perimeter defending there from Hara and the turnover forced really by Shutahara there. 30 year old who made his national team debut for Japan at the FIBA World Cup last year. Higashi drops off the cooks. Still 10 on the shot clock as Hara pulls up for three and hits. Shutahara. It's a 5-0 run for Chiba as back and forth we go. This pick and roll. Side jumper drained by Willis. Darren Willis Jr. Joined Lavanga this past offseason from the Soul Samsung Thunders after starting. 2022 with Locomotive Kuban and the Russian ETB United League. Baseline jumper hit by Mooney. And Mooney's first points of the night. 13 to 9 for the Jets. Just over four minutes gone in the opening quarter. This is Kohei Sakino into the game. It's a long two. Foot on the line. He got it. Not a high percentage shot. You want to be shooting those for three. Just an extra six inches. So a distance. But he gets the two. He is two. Great dish there. Tagashi teeing up Cooks for the slam. Defense disappearing. For the Vanga Hokkaido. And that is a picture-perfect pick and roll to the basket when Cooks for his second slam of the game. John Patrick, the Chiba Jets coach, seeing on our screen during the timeout there. And he gets to celebrate a rare birthday just a few weeks from now. He was born on the 29th of February, 1968. A leap year child. Imagine getting to celebrate your birthday only once every four years. And it's with the ball, Shimatani for the Vanga. Sticking with the favorite Jets here on the road. It's nowhere there for Shimatani to go. Finds Brooks and then outside. Eight on the shot clock. Turn around by Sakino. Got it! That's a tough shot. Sakino now with four for Hokkaido. Once again, she was lead 22. Mora able to find Mooney who rattles the short jumper down. Mooney averaging 18 and a half points per game this season in the one lady. Shimatani. Inside to Brooks. Get the ball off his knee, I thought. And yeah, it's going to be Shiba basketball. Turnover by the Charlotte, North Carolina native. 
And played college basketball at Davidson just after Steph Curry left. Brooks himself a former Southern Conference Player of the Year on two occasions before he graduated in 2014. But the turnover gives the ball back to Chiba, and with it now is Xavier Cooks. That pass fumbled away by Nishimura. So the Ronda can counter. It's Kukasa Nakano back to Shuto Terazono. Terazono gets to the corner and misses the jumper. Rebound by Ira Brown. Inside went Ogawa. Sato Ogawa into the game. He was fouled. Nakano with the infraction. Nakano on a run of scoreless games for Levanke. He did have 21 points against Nagoya back on the 5th of November. He's not been seeing a lot of playing time recently. It's Ogawa will go to the free throw line. Substitution for Levanga. That is Terrell Willis Jr. checking back in. Two shots. Two shots. Ogawa. 67% from the line this year and makes the first. He's 22 years of age, Asato Ogawa. Second season with Chiba after playing previously with the Hitachi Sun Rockers. Makes both free throws and Chiba matching their largest lead of the game. Six points up on the Vanga. Go to Kikuchi and to Willis Jr. Terizono. And a blow by Ogawa. Took to the far side. Tough baseline jumper is off the rim. Rebounded by Brown for Chiba. Not going to be missing that shot. DJ Stevens in, missing the 15 footer. Rebound out to Willis, and he was fouled in transition by Ogawa. <laughs> So Ogawa only averaging 15 minutes per game. He's played rather less than that in several recent contests. Getting early run here with 3-10 to go in the first quarter. Tarazona switch defending. Doesn't pay off yet as Willis Jr. drops off. Kikuchi probing. Terrazono, three on the shot clock. He heaves from 17 feet. The follow-up missed. Should have been converted by Daniel Danana. So Hokkaido can't cut into the deficit. And the attempted wraparound pass looking for Stevens by Ogawa didn't come off. But Shiba will keep the basketball as you see Stevens. Very short trip on the floor for the well-traveled Stevens. Hara checking back in as you see Mooney. Inside for Cooks. Second effort up and in. Xavier Cooks leading all scores with eight points. And it is an eight-point Chiba Jets advantage. Ramos dishing, open corner three, no good. So, Cooks again. Driving into the paint, tough shot there for Hara. Rebound to Nana. Daniel Danana played in the under-17 World Cup back in 2014 for Japan as the three-pointer for Willis Jr. no good. 
And good boxing out. Cooks getting the rebound. A minute and a half left in the opening quarter as Cooks nearly traveled. Missed the tough shot. Rebound by Willis Jr. And he stepped on the baseline. Question whether he was forced out by Mooney. The complaints by Willis to the referee. I don't think it was whether his foot did graze the line. It obviously did. You've got to be allowed position there, a chance to keep your feet in bounds. As Togashi back in for Chiba. Chuhara outside. Five on the shot clock for Hara. Tough three. No. Rebound, Cooks bumped and won. Xavier Cooks into double figures in points already. And a chance to increase his total as Tedozono fouled him inside. One shot. Cooks missing the free throw, but very bright offensive start for him. And it is the largest lead of the game so far for the Jets. That's an offensive foul and a legal screen. Ramos looking sheepish. It wasn't a foul on him. I think they called it on Willis. His first foul of the game. Out of front court for Chiba. Mooney to Tagashi. Trying to keep Tagashi from getting any easy shots, but they're all falling for Cooks. Vanga Hokkaido knows what it's like to be beaten repeatedly by Togashi. Instead, they're getting gashed by Cooks. And Mooney, to a lesser extent, inside. Another turnover by Lavanga. Chiba can hold for the final shot of the quarter if they wish. Hara taking his time. Ten seconds now remaining. Cooks feeling it. Outside Togashi, open for three, bang! And a perfect ending to an excellent opening quarter for the Chiba Jets. Already starting to run away and hide from Lavanga Hokkaido. Ten minutes in the books, it's Chiba 28, Lavanga 13. Let's go, 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 Get up, get up, get up, go, go, go. All right, making a great lead. So, so that's the crowd. power to a mask. Take my show. Go a mask into a mistress. Smoke, take it. Take my son. 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 first quarter highlights here you see inside outside perfection for Xavier Cooks 12.6 rebounds in the first 10 minutes and most of those points on slam dunks just like that one 
Cooks had a season high 21 points and 11 rebounds against the Toyama Grouses on the 27th of January. And already threatening to smash that seasonal best to smithereens. Second quarter. Slavanga will start the second quarter with the ball and how they need it. And it's back to Terrazono. Screen and roll with Brooks doesn't come off. Sakino back to Terrazono. Open man is Sakino. Popped outside for Brooks for three. No. Rebound Mooney. Togashi back to John Mooney. Mooney seventh in points this season in the B League and fourth in rebounding. As tough shot, acrobatic, and in from Togashi. He now has nine points on three of four shooting. Ramos, Filipino trying to get out of second gear. Number two for Lavanga. The free throw line, errant pass from Willis, retrieved by Brooks. Up and in, and the foul. Terrazona, a chance for a three point play for Lavanga. Defenders just fell asleep, and then a hard hit in the paint. Foul by Kanachika. 20 year old Kanachika, who is in his first season at senior level in the B League. Not his finest moment, and the three point play is finished by Terrazono. Yutaro Onodera continues to look on from the Hokkaido sideline. This team trails by 14. Three pointer off the mark and out of bounds. That was Kanachika trying his luck from distance. Lavanga Hokkaido needs a run. Starts chipping away at this huge Chiba lead as back to Terrazona. Having his best season, Terrazona. The jumper from the elbow, no good, but the offensive rebound for Brooks. Shot clock recycled. Brooks looking to get the ball after the screen. Inside, that's a great dish. Will is able to flush. Great passing vision by Damon Brooks, setting up Daryl Willis Jr. with an uncontested slam after Cooks backed off. Lavanga back within 12 as we. Hooks with 12 points, Togashi with nine. So lead Chiba in this game so far. Daryl Willis Jr. now with seven points and three boards for Lavanga. As we again see John Mooney, who was an all Atlantic Coast Conference first teamer with Notre Dame as a senior back in the 2019-2020 season that was curtailed at the end by COVID-19.
Togashi looking inside, and the foul called against Sakino with Iowa Brown backing in and out physicaling a much smaller Sakino. Hooks again trying to get inside. This time he lost the ball. And it's going to be a turnover. Rare mistake in this game for Xavier Cook so far. And Terrazono will find his way front court for Lavanga. On a 5 0 run, Lavanga. He said they needed. A burst of points to keep in touch with the Jets. Open in the corner, Sakino. Plenty of time to measure his three, and he drains it to make it a single figure deficit. Sakino with seven now for Lavanga. Togashi trying to respond, can't get it, but the rebound off the Noggin of Willis Jr. Unfortunate for Hokkaido, although they have really cut into the Chiba lead. It's an 8 0 run now for the visitors. As Ogawa into Brown, he gets the layup off the window. Chiba back in front by 11, and that brings the Mavanga run to an end. With the three-point look just off. And rebounded by Mooney. Good look there for Ramos, far side of the courts. Ramos. One of three now from the field is inside. Easy burst. And the foul as well, Fumio Nishimura. A 37-year-old who is in his 10th year with the Chiba Jets. Increasing the home team's lead as once again, timeout taken at the Funabashi Arena. Look there at Fumio Nishimura. Three games with 10 or more points for Nishimura this season. His best coming back in October. 12 points against Shinishu. One shot. Only averaging 13 and a half minutes per game on the court and can't complete the three point play. But the rebound falls out to Ogawa. And a chance for a five-point play missed by Nishimura, and then the attempted follow-up stuff by DJ Stevens didn't come off. So Levanga dodges a couple of bullets in that trip down the floor for Chiba. Near-sighted Fuka Matsushita. Tricking his way into the paint, but then gave the ball away right to Mooney, who returns the favor to Matsushita. And then a foul on the deck. 
committed by Nishimura. Slightly chaotic sequence there, the hook. White arm of Nishimura around the American's midriff. Here's Ramos. Back from Brooks. Shimatani a long way from the bucket and the ball out of bounds. Last touched by Willis. So Lavanga rocked back a little bit here. Chiba has scored the last four points and inside Ira Brown can't finish. Should have extended that Jets run. Instead, Shimatani for Lavanga. Ramos waiting to pick his spot and then the strip. Who's got it? It falls to Mooney for Chiba. Nishimura kicks near side for Stevens, misses the triple. Rebound to Shimatani. Inside goes Shimatani, but the bunny not in. And Stevens, the Kyleen, Texas native with the rebound. Struggling to really make an impact with Chiba since his move from Promete Slobozhanska. It's not shot off the window, missed by Nishimura. Commentated on DJ Stevens a couple of times last season in Euro Cup play, and he averaged more than 13 points a game for the Ukrainian exiles. Playing their home basketball in Riga. As Chiba again with the ball. Inside the dish to Brown for three, missed it. And then the rebound up over the backboard and out of play. So with 3.50 left in the first half, television timeout at the Funabashi Arena. Chiba Jets 34, Lavanga Hokkaido 21. Our second quarter score. Not too far from the Japanese capital of Tokyo, just to the east of Tokyo and slightly to the north of Chiba itself. Great atmosphere in the Funabashi Arena tonight as this is Nana outside for Lavanga. Over to Brooks. Shimatani. Five on the shot clock looking inside for Brooks. He finishes. And Damon Brooks, at his first basket of the game. 
Sheba's lead trimmed to 11. And a cheek out. Guarded by Nakano. Tadashi, 25 footer, just short. The shot clock about to expire. Shimatani looking for Brooks, posting up, but able to force him outside. And then, what happened there? Contact underneath involving Shutahara, who looks to be in a little bit of bother. Hara keeping his game face on, but I think John Patrick would like to know exactly what Hara's condition is. Looks like he's going to tough it out. This is Shun Watanuki, his first action of the game. To the free throw line, looking inside, and with the shot clock about to expire, Nakano forced to heave the ball up from almost directly underneath the rim. Chiba. Tough shot on the tip, no, as Tugashi penetrated, but couldn't quite get the basket. It's out of bounds off of Nakano last, so Chiba retains possession. So Brown checking back in. There's a podcast if you're a fan of the Gonzaga Zags basketball team, one of the best collegiate outfits in recent years under their head coach, Mark Few. Podcast is called Free Ira Brown. <laughs> Back when Brown was in his years out on the West Coast, as the good bucket there inside scored by Hada, so he seems to be okay. Five points now for him. Three pointer at the other end, too strong from Nakano, and the rebound. Falling for Stevens. Turn around for Hara. That was short. Rebounded by Nana. Front court tempo to Watanuki for the Vanga, but now they slow things down. One and a half minutes left before halftime. Triple attempt from Brock Swish. Back to a 10-point lead at the other end. Togashi gets the bounce. As Yuki Togashi into double figures now with 11 points. Matsunuki, the 36-year-old veteran, to Nana. Open look for Shimatani. That misses. And then Stevens cleans the glass. 48 seconds left in the second quarter. Running jumper by Tagashi. Wanted a foul call, didn't get one. So Shimatani in no hurry for the visitors from Sapporo. Kicks far side, Watanuki for three. And it's back to just a nine point lead. And Stevens, the turnover off the inbound. Some pressure defending from Tsukasa Nakano. And after being outplayed quite significantly for most of this game, Lavanga with a chance to take the last shot of the half and cut it to maybe a seven or even a six point Chiba Jets lead. Going into the halftime break. Back outside we go to Shimatani. Can't quite play for the last shot although it'll be close. Underneath the rejection but was there body contact? Brown the weak side block. 
but with 5.4 on the clock. Zara Willis Jr. is going to go to the line. I think the foul committed by Cooks. His first. It's been a very clean game. Shimatani, the only player for either club with two personal fouls in this game. And Willis, a 74% free throw shooter this season, makes the first. And this is a spirited fight back by a club which was 3-16 and 16 at one point this season. They've played over 500 since then. And with the second free throw also dropping, it's just a seven-point Sheba Jets lead. Five and a half seconds left before halftime. So Gawa back in. Lavanga showing full court pressure. Trying to make it difficult for them to bring the ball front court. Brown back to Togashi. And just flings the ball forward and nothing cooking. Well, the foul committed with 2.2 on the clock. Did have that foul to give. And the heave before the buzzer. Togashi got it! Oh! Yuki Togashi up to 14 points in the first half on the 30-foot heave. And what a momentum switch that could prove to be. Lavanga thought they'd close it up to a seven-point game, but our halftime score, the Chiba Jets 41, Lavanga Hokkaido 31. Please welcome your Star Jets and M Splash.
charge that sand and splash. ジャケット。長時間さっきにして プレゼンターは千葉ジェッツ田中氏代表取締役日村正恵さんとなります。本日お送りする2023-24シーズンサードユニフォームはブースターの皆様の好評で決定いたしました。千葉県旗の黄色でもある希望と発展を表すソライロ
関するご案内ですバスケットライブは B リーグをはじめとする試合映像や注目選手の練習インタビュー映像などを見ることができる国内のバスケットボール動画配信サービスですライブ配信はもちろんのこと見逃し配信にも対応しておりますのでぜひ会場で直接応援ができない時にもバスケットライブで熱い宣言を送ってくださいそしてバスケットライブの視聴数と人気登録数が多くなるとリーグからの配分金がより多く支払われクラブの発行資金になります船橋アリーナにご登場の皆さんもぜひアプリを開いて応援機能より選手を後押ししてくださいここでキャンプ場のご案内です本日中心で5名様に生のギフトカードを1000円分が出るラインキャンペーンを行っています抽選へのエントリー方法は千葉ジェッツ公式 LINE を友達登録してトーク画面に「空色」と入力して送信するだけですエントリーが完了した場合はすぐに自動返信が届き当選された方には後日千葉ジェッツ公式 LINE からメッセージが届きますぜひご参加くださいそして現在絶賛投票受付中の B リーグバレンタイン B リーグモテオナンバーワン決定戦千葉ジェスからは恋するポートス君でおなじみ背番号12番タレッチカレッツ選手がエントリーしています投票方法は会場内に掲示されているポップをご覧くださいきっと届くあなたの恋するポートス戦ぜひブースターの皆さんの力でカレッチをモテをナンバーワンに導いてくださいの熱い強みを生み出す人生新サービスを提供する福祉
First half highlights from the Funabashi Arena in Shiba. Yuki Togashi got us off and running. He finished the first half with 14 points. Star of the first quarter for Chiba was Xavier Cooks. He got to the 10 early and often as Darrell Willis Jr. responding for the visitors. Willis finished the half with nine points and three rebounds. Nice job cutting to the basket by Ren Shimatani. And at the other end, physical play inside from Mooney. The dish back to Cooks. Cooks with 12 points and six rebounds. Most of that damage coming in the first quarter. Not his halftime stat line. Triple there from Shutahara. He finished with five points. Albeit on two of five shooting. That three-pointer drained by Willis. Minus 14 in the first half, despite his team leading nine points. As Mooney got that jumper to rattle down and in. Mooney with just the four points, but five rebounds and two assists. Outside, Togashi hitting again. The end of the half, five of ten from the field, two of five outside the three-point arc. a 17-point lead early in the second quarter for Chiba, but the response came. That was Shuto Terrazono completing a three-point play for his only points of the half. Then the flush inside for Willis. Good setup play. Damon Brooks with five points and four assists in the first 20 minutes. And then Ira Brown getting up and getting the bucket to go down. Three and a half minutes left in the half. The spin move and the kind bounce for Brooks. Nice runner at the other end for Hada. His season high, remember, of 18 points came against Levanga back on the 21st of January. And that was the heave right before halftime. Levanga Hokkaido had cut the Chiba advantage to just seven points, but that's the buzzer sounded. Togashi hitting from 30 feet. You see the halftime stats. Better shooting from outside for Levango. Only 3 of 11 for Chiba outside the arc. Neither team getting to the free throw line often. Rebounding advantage for the home team. More assists for Levango. And Chiba will feel comfortable, not secure. The bottom number on your screen there, by the way, second chance points. Ten for Chiba, just two for Levanga, and Levanga just has to box out better at the defensive end to get the result they want to have in this game. It's actually eight turnovers to five. Hokkaido a little bit more careless with the basketball. 
And so, 20 minutes left, and Lavanga Hokkaido trying to win their third game in a row, but Chiba looking for their 11th consecutive victory. And Chiba in the box seat with a 10-point lead coming to the start of the third quarter. There are your leading scores. Togashi with 14, Willis with 9. Four rebounds for Daniel Danana. Surprising, given we'd only been averaging three and a half minutes per game. 0.3 points per game this season. Cooks with the 12 and 6, as we mentioned, and Brooks with the four dimes, but they need more points from whatever sources they can find them. If they want to seriously climb back into this game and try to defeat Sheba for the first time in four attempts so far this season. Sheba will next be in action in three days time. A pair of home games here against the Yokohama B Corsairs. And Lavanga only needs to go on the road to Okinawa to face the defending champions at the weekend. The Ryukyu Golden Knights, back-to-back -back road games for them. Tends to be the way most of the games on the B-League schedule involve back-to-back -back contests, same clubs facing each other on consecutive nights. Regular season started all the way back on the 7th and 8th of October. And Chiba was only 13 and 13 before starting this big winning streak. And Chiba not in their usual home red jerseys. They are in a promotion with the Chiba Latte Marines, the big Japanese baseball club. They have the ball to start the second half, and inside Mooney off the window and down. And one of the Hokkaido players slow to get up. That is Brooks, I believe. That's the last thing that Yutaro Onodera will want to see. Just got an elbow in the jaw there. It's not a dirty play at all by Mooney. Hopefully it's just a bit of shock. Maybe got it in the throat, did Willis. Oh, Brooks, beg your pardon. Yeah, I think he's holding his throat rather than his jaw. And Mooney just making sure he's okay. A little tap there of appreciation and of condolence. Gonna have a video review here, you wonder. Checking to see if this should be an offensive foul against John Mooney. Or are they just checking to see where the clock should have stopped? Didn't see a signal for a review. Oh no, hang on. Well. Signal as though they were waving the basket off. Scoreboard hasn't changed yet. 16 seconds gone in the quarter. John Patrick's not happy. That was not a happy smile. <laughs> nice. It will be Lavanga basketball. Basket still showing his counting. We'll let you know if things change as Shimitani goes inside, kicks far side for three, and it's drained very nicely by Kohei Sekino. The 23% three-point shooter this season comes up big. It's back to a nine-point Shiba lead as penetration, tough shot, not in from Hada. And a rebound gathered by Brooks. So Lavanga very much still in this game as Shimatani with the ball. 
Six on the shot clock, another triple attempt. This one rattled out. Not sure he should be taking that many three-point jumpers. That was actually Ramos missing. As Mooney drops off, Togashi, the triple attempt, that misses. And last out off of Ramos, battling with Cooks for the rebound. Clever inside outside game there for Hokkaido. There's a foul now on Ramos inside. The Filipino not having his happiest night. Just the two points. On one of three shooting in the game for Ramos. And that his first foul. Sends Cooks to the charity stripe for a couple of free throw attempts. Way off the mark on the first. The former honorable mention All-American when he played at Winthrop University, the Big South Player of the Year back in 2018. Started his professional career in Germany before moving back to his native Australia, most recently with Sydney in the NBL. Makes a second. So Cooks now with 13 points. Chiba back up by eight. Shimatani. Not a bit of space. Out to Ramos from the elbow. Again, no. And Cooks with his eighth rebound. Trying to go coast to coast. The floater not in. And down to Willis for Lavanga. Open look for Sakino again. He swish. And Sakino cuts Chiba's lead to just seven. 44 points to 37. Togashi. Good defending by Shimatani. Takashi gets the foul call, not the jumper. That's how shifty Tagashi is on the dribble. Shimatani stuck with him for a while, but then was forced to make contact. And it's the 23-year-old second foul for Lavanga. Tagashi doesn't miss many free throws. The former B-League most valuable player back in the 2018-2019 season. The Nigata native now with 16 points. They've added the points to the wrong team here. It should be 46-37 on score at this stage. Drive and a good finish. Strong to the hoop went Willis. 46-39. Our score. Cooks will occasionally bring the ball down the floor for Chiba. And Mooney off to Hara. Hara inside. Lost control. And Shimatani comes away with it. Four on your screen is now correct as Shimatani. Good fire up to three. Instead, just hands it off to Willis, who lost possession. And front court Brown. He's too far under the basket, but drops off for Cooks. Hello! How many slam dunks is that in this game for Xavier Cooks? Now up to 15 points off the turnover, and Brown was slowed down by Willis, but patiently waited to find the trailer. Cooks with a dunk, and Chiba back up by nine.
There is Ren Shimatani trying his best. Just the two points, but three rebounds and three assists. Also three personal fouls, so watch out for that. He stays in the game as Ramos back outside. Shimatani takes over again. Off to Willis. Six on the shot clock. The wraparound pass doesn't pay off. It's stolen by Cooks. And Togashi. Nishimura for the triple. That's off. Strong rebound by Damon Brooks. Lavanga trying to continue chipping away. Ramos hits for three. And Dwight Ramos showing up. Coming off a 25 point game on Sunday. He looking to bring Lavanga back into this one. Cooks inside against Ramos. Kicked over to Brown for three. Bang. Ira Brown now with five points. Big counter strike there for Chiba, really. It's Ramos looking to heat up here as we approach the halfway mark of the third quarter. Ramos inside, can't finish, but what happened there? Just thrown out of bounds, looked like by Mooney out of frustration. Is it going to be cheaper basketball? Not quite sure what happened there as Chico Terrazona checking back in. It looks like it is going to be Chiba ball. It's Nishimura able to pass the timeline easily enough, and now it's Mooney. Togashi. Back from Mooney. Togashi. Free throw line jumper. Got it. So good from that range. Yuki Togashi. Played G League basketball in the States nearly a decade ago with the Texas Legends, did Togashi after summer league ball with the Dallas Mavericks in Las Vegas is the three-pointer from Kikuchi. Levanga Hokkaido is not going away. Just an eight-point contest again. It's Kikuchi now trying to guard Togashi if he can. Instead, Nishimura kicking outside. The three-point attempt, short. Miss here by Mooney. Ball back to Willis, and now Tedazono. He gets to the free throw line and hits. And Lavanga Hokkaido once again, trailing by just six. It was a 10-point game at halftime. Lavanga trailing by as many as 17. Machuto Terrazono hitting this bucket. He's got three points in the game. Getting closer at the Funabashi Arena.
The 2021 B League title winners, the Chiba Jets, 53 and 7 in the regular season last year. Defeated Hiroshima and then Toyota Alvark in the playoffs before falling at the final hurdle for the third time to Ryukyu of Okinawa. Slow start this season, but they have come on strong of late and trying to consolidate their position in the B-League table tonight as Stevens to the hoop misses. Got inside to DJ Stevens, but couldn't finish. And Lavanga could make it as close as it's been for a while as the block shot by Stevens. And the ball last out of bounds off of Tedizono of Lavanga. Stevens with the wingspan. Biggest contribution of the night so far. As Hara. Tough foul call against Willis there. Just going up for the ball and he came down as much into Stevens as anything. Getting a little bit nervous for John Patrick and the Jets. So we've got a review here, see the boxing out. Arm did come down into Stevens. To me, that's just a natural basketball incident. See the smiley face tattoo on the left leg there of DJ Stevens, who played college basketball with Memphis. He's been around the block. He played with Zenit St. Petersburg in Russia. He's played in Greece with Anadolu Efes in Turkey in France, in Puerto Rico, and Bahrain for spending last season with Promete Slobozhanska, the Ukrainian exiles playing in Latvia. Stevens is okay. But we wait for the refereeing verdict here. Foul call, I think. Well, called it on Stevens, have they? Or one of those in ice hockey we'd say was two minutes for receiving. <laughs> anyway, it's Lavanga's basketball with the deficit just six as Willis. Back outside, and now Terrazono from Kikuchi. Kikuchi in the corner for three. Missed. That was a big open shot. Chance for Hokkaido to get back within three. Instead, here's Hara. 2.22 left in the third. Very aggressive defending, but Nishimura able to release to Mooney, who goes inside and scores. John Mooney with eight points now. Five rebounds, two assists on the night. Kikuchi. 
guarded by the much bigger Mooney in the near steal, and it is almost gathered. Instead, it goes backcourt, but only three seconds on the shot clock. Remaining for Levanga Hokkaido here. Stevens impressing defensively in this game. He hasn't yet scored, but four rebounds, a steal, and a near steal there. Kikuchi to inbound, and Hokkaido has to hurry. Look to get the ball front court at the pass. The heave by Brooks, he bricked it, but it's going to be an offensive foul anyway with a charge drawn. By Nishimura, good solid defensive positioning there. Vanga in the penalty. They'll shoot free throws for the rest of the quarter, but Chiba with the basketball. Cooks dropping off to Ogawa. Now Stevens lost the handle, but I think there was a touch foul there, possibly against Terezona. Could have been knocking it. Yeah, I think the reach in by Tsukasa Nakano. There's Ramos. Five points, but on just two of seven shooting from the field. Two shots. Oh, I beg your pardon, it's Chiba shooting the free throws here as Stevens misses the first. Only a 66% free throw shooter in his professional career, Stevens. Not counting his four games in the NBA with Milwaukee and Memphis. Makes a second and Chiba back in front by nine with one and a half minutes left in quarter number three. Ramos with the basketball for Levanga. Telezono. To the elbow and shot was partially blocked and Stevens away with it. Here's Brown. Brown ran down a cul-de-sac. Inside and another finish at the 10 by Cooks. And remember when Levanga missed that open three in the corner, which could have made it a three-point deficit. Instead, they now trail by 11. Ramos, Willis Jr. to Terrazono. Ramos to fake, Terrazono for three, way off. Team rebound for Chiba. Okawa back to Brown for three, yes! And Sheba on a roll. An 8-0 run for the home team as Levanga can hold for the final shots. Inside the finger roll, not in for Kikuchi. And the three-quarter court heave way off, but what a finish to that third quarter for the Chiba Jets. See, they outscored Levanga 2016 in the quarter, but it was not an even progression to get there. Ten minutes left. It's Chiba 61, Levanga Hokkaido 47.
Third quarter highlights the great penetration and kick from Ren Shimitani finding Sakino in the corner. Ramos connecting from long range for the first time in the game. Pride of the Philippines trying to rally Lavanga. Then it was Hiroto Kikuchi hitting from distance. Lavanga got back within six. But Chiba turning on the Jets, if you will. Right at the end of quarter number three. Togashi now with 18 points. Cooks with 17 and 10. A double-double already with a quarter still to go for Xavier Cooks here tonight. Sakino leading Lavanga with 13 points. Willows with 11 and 6. There's Lavanga starting the fourth quarter with the ball, but needing to rally from what is now a 14-point deficit. Arizona. Ramos, open look from deep. Got it. Ramos now with eight. Togashi back on the floor for the home side. Looks inside Nishimura. Now Ira Brown, battle for positioning inside. The ball is loose. And that's going to be a foul against the sprawling Stevens of Chiba. Pass was behind Stevens in the first instance, and then I think the referee saying he extended his left arm, Stevens. Second foul of the game for the 33-year-old American. Mentioned that Lavanka has lost all three of their games against Chiba this season, but two of those were very competitive, including a seven-point loss in this building back on the 21st of January. As the ball kicked back outside to Ramos, with five on the shot clock, his three-point attempt partially blocked by Cooks. And Togashi for the triple at the other end, he misses. But a foul against Hokkaido, boxing out for the rebound. Kikuchi, you see he just bumped into Brown, who was trying to get toward the rim. Cooks inside, hangs and scores. That was nice from Xavier Cooks. Now leads all scores with 19. Chiba back in front by 13. Ramos traps back to Terrazono. Great perimeter defending for most of this game by Chiba, but inside, uh, Willis, I think he traveled on his way up there. Is spinning and failing to keep control of his body there as Chiba can again look to increase their lead. Attempted backdoor cut, that was ambitious and nice steal in the end for Hokkaido. Ramos into the corner, Kikuchi for three, yes! Hiro to Kikuchi. Second three-point bucket of him for him this evening. And the attempt by Togashi. Just off, but he will go to the line. Pushing the back there by Kikuchi. Who just made his B-League debut on the 27th of January for Levanka against the Shinshu Brave Warriors. <laughs> 22-year-old with a pair of 11-point games in his last three outings, but the foul here sending Tagashi to the line. Makes them both, and it's another 20-point game for Yuki Togashi. 
Still a ways off the 42 he scored against Novanga back on the 20th of January as Ramos, long way from the basket. Switch defending by Mooney. Four on the shot clock and the ball out of bounds. Last off of Brooks. Game not over yet, but Sheba has to be feeling increasingly comfortable. So draw toward the latter stages. Brown regathers. Up, not in. Tip out, collected by Lavanga and forward to Brooks for an awkward looking layup. He think, thought about going up for the jam and decided at the last moment not to. But it is seven points, five rebounds, and four assists now in the game for Damon Brooks. At the other end, missed by Togashi, but the foul underneath against Kikuchi again. Push in the back. Kikuchi into Mooney. And Chiba. Could be shooting a lot of free throws down the stretch, you feel. As the inbound play too hot for three, long. Rebound snatched by Willis. So Lavanga can again make it a single digit deficit as Sakino, leading scorer for Lavanga tonight, Kohei Sakino with 13 points. Nana, not to Sakino, shot clock ticking down. Got a hurry, and they just lost track of the shot clock. It's a violation against Lavanga. That's got to really tear Ryutaro Onodera's hair out, the Lavanga head coach. Hara, guarded by Sakino. Back to Togashi again. Six on the shot clock. Togashi for three. No. Foul underneath though on Nana of Lavanga. <laughs> Once again, Mooney in good rebounding position, and the only way to slow him down was to commit the foul. So with 5.43 left in the final quarter, Chiba will be shooting free throws for the rest of the game. Inside, dish by Nishimura for three, rattle around and out, but Mooney the rebound. He goes up and some complaining underneath. Tadashi struggling a little bit from the field. He's only 6 of 15 now, but as Mooney went up. He was bumped by a Daniel Dan Nana. And John Mooney, the 78% free throw shooter this season. If he makes them both, he will become the third Chiba player into double digits in points here in this game tonight. Perfect with the first. The Florida native, John Mooney. Can't get the second, so he stays on nine points. Chiba's lead is 11. Approaching the halfway mark of the final quarter. Shimatani, back to Kikuchi. Novanga leaving it late in the shot clock here. Fourth quarter, they gotta go. Nana inside once again. They don't get a shot off in time. On the one hand, it's good defense from Chiba, but 
a real lack of awareness from Lavanga's players of the amount of time ticking down on the shot clock. Cannot afford to waste possessions like that repeatedly. As crunch time approaches, Cooks inside, gets the layup! Cooks cooking again for Chiba. And against Nana, Xavier Cooks able to convert. The Chiba Jets have never trailed in this game. The score was 6 6 the last time. Lavanga had parity with the team that had the best record in the B League last regular season. Shimatani outside Sakina, the corner triple, way off from Kikuchi, but the offensive rebound nearly thrown away by Nana. Saved very well to Watanuki, and then the penetration, but not the buckets. For Shimatani. And Chiba will probably feel like this game is theirs for the finishing. The jumper missed by Ogawa, and then the collision between Stevens and Watanuki. Your pardon, that's Ryota Sakurai, who we were told wasn't playing in this game, but that is Sakurai. Very much a bit part player. He checks straight back out of the game. The foul was called against Sakurai. As Nishimura looking a little bit gimpy as he heads back to the bench with Stevens at the free throw line. Lavanga really missing their seven-foot American and Thomas Welsh tonight. Former gold medalist for Team USA at the Under-19 World Cup, Welsh, back in 2015. He played with the Denver Nuggets for a spell five seasons ago. Second free throw missed by Stevens. Finally, the first point of the night for DJ Stevens, and it's a 14-point lead for the Jets. Foul on the deck against Stevens, trying to guard Damon Brooks. Xavier Cooks now, by the way, 21 points and 12 rebounds, 10 of 13 shooting. You see that was the third foul against Stevens. I'd say that's an efficient night's work 
for Cooks as Shimatani. Once again, Lavanga letting the shot clock tick down. It's five remaining. Defense collapsing upon Willis, who can't finish. And here's Cooks. Another rebound for him. Cooks against Sakino. Instead, the skip pass to Ogawa for three. And that surely is that for the Chiba Jets. Asata Ogawa with six points now. Cooks drawing the defense towards him. Open corner triple. And Chiba up by 17. Some glum faces behind the Lavanga Hokkaido bench. With the Chiba Jets poised to win their 11th consecutive game. And the Japanese B League looking to climb up the standings a little bit. Ball fumbled away off of Ramos, but taken back by Brooks. Matani to Zucchino, the corner jumper off the mark with the shot clock ticking down by Ramos. A pained expression on the face of Demon Brooks as he got fouled over the back by Ogawa. His second foul of the game. Kick outside for the open three miss. They just can't get those shots to fall. And Stevens grabs the ball for Chiba. Ren Kanachika for three for the Jets. And Chiba up by 20, their largest lead of the night. Just over two and a half minutes remaining. I think we can pencil this one in for the home team as Willis for three, again off. Rebound falls to Togashi. Jets can see this one out as Ogawa. Three-pointer just missed. Taken by Kanachika. Lavanga front court, but less than two minutes now remaining. Shimatani goes right. Draws contact, no shots. Foul on Kanachika. Kanechka, which is probably the more accurate Japanese pronunciation of Chiba's number 12, as the Lavanga bench emptying. Terazono in. One of their real bench spark plugs, but this is a bit of a waving of the white flag as Gaku Arao comes in. He was a DNP coach's decision on Sunday against Osaka. Warm applause for him as in the paint that's Nakano missing. 
Stevens tapped the rebound out to Tagashi. That's Ogawa, beg your pardon. Tagashi's night appears to be over. Stevens stutters, drives, and finishes, drawing the foul in the process. Not the first field goal on five attempts in the game for DJ Stevens. I mentioned he has been struggling recently, really integrate himself into the rotation of John Patrick. Now with 128 left, timeout taken. Chiba up by 22. Just about finished at the Funabashi Arena this evening. 22 points, the Chiba Jets lead. And Lavanga Hokkaido it was always going to be a tall task coming to play on the road against a team of significantly greater pedigree. And without one of their key players, Thomas Welsh, is another free throw missed by Stevens. He's now one of three from the strike tonight. As Brooks drops off for Terrazono. Inside, not a rejected by Stevens. Another block shot tonight for DJ Stevens. As we enter the final minute, Ogawa. Stevens from 19 feet misses. Rebound Watanuki. Three point attempt hit by Willis. Or I beg your pardon, by Brooks. So Brooks now with 10 points, six rebounds, four assists. Nice. Sorry, Uchio tried to penetrate, but the ball rolled away. Uchio playing just his fourth game of the season, the 22-year-old debutante in the B League this year. Brooks will depart for Sakurai. That's Uchio inside, denied by Nana. 17 seconds remaining. Three-point attempt missed, and the rebound to Ogawa. And that will be that. An 11th consecutive win in B-League play for the Chiba Jets. This one ended quite comfortably. 77 to 58 over Lavanga Hokkaido. Chiba up to 24 and 13 on the season. Lavanga down to 12 and 25.
19 points, the final margin. And as usual, Cooks and Togashi helping to pace the Jets. Cooks with a double-double, 21 points, 13 rebounds. Togashi, 20 points and three assists, albeit only on six of 15 shooting for the five and a half foot Japanese point guard. See the next games for the two teams at the top of your screen. Chiba against Yokohama and Lavanga on the road at Ryukyu. Both of those games coming up in three days' time. Polite applause from both sets of fans here at the Funabashi Arena. Lavanga hung tougher than you might have thought they would. But in the end, the class of Chiba telling. They never led by fewer than 10 points in the final quarter. And a good night for the Chiba Latte Marines mascot. The presentation there from Ryoto Sakurai. And a wave from Sakurai, the 40-year-old, signing off for Lavanga this evening. John Patrick on to the dais. Let's hear from him. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
give momentum for your guys' energy. I think you guys have really been riding us the last couple of games, and we really appreciate it. はい、皆さんも引き続き会場にお越しいただいて応援いただければと思います。皆さんの力、応援が本当に力になって、あの私たちの力になる源になってますので、また引き続き応援よろしくお願いします。ありがとうございました。ジャムクチョ一人目はゼイビアクックス選手でした。そしてジャムクチョもう一人こちらも20得点。背番号2番富樫勇樹選手です。今日はあのブザービーターもありながらの本当に素晴らしい活躍でしたが、富樫選手、今日どうでしたか、はい、あのチームとして10連勝中と、あのすごくね、あの今年に入って勢いがある中で、まあ、しっかりあの集中して、あの試合通してあの試合することできたのかなと思いますはいありがとうございます、でそして富樫選手にも内田琴子さんからインタビューしていただきます、お願いします、えー、ナイスゲームでした。ありがととうございますあのえっと頼りになるなっていう選手だったり、頼もしいなって思う選手はいらっしゃいますか。はい、もちろんこのチームでね、もちろん全員がね、いろんな役割がある中で、あのー、それをコートに出る出ない関係なく、全員が勝つために、えー、仕事をしてくれているので、まあ、本当にチーム全員と言いたいですが、やっぱり僕の中ではもうジョンムーニーというね、もう<笑>本当に。<笑> To ask who he relies upon, who Chiba relies upon in their team, and a salute from Togashi to John Mooney. Said everyone's doing their role, but especially Mooney. <laughs> Mooney's got the stats to back it up this season. The 11 and a half rebounds per game. The father of the team says Togashi. It's pretty good given that he's only 25 years old. He's being asked about. This upcoming weekend's game against Yokohama, the pair of games here, saying he wants to keep the momentum, keep things going forward for Chiba. I don't have any setbacks, but I have a lot of setbacks. So Yuki Togashi signing off after another 20-point game tonight for the Chiba Jets. Small man, but with a big heart and pretty impressive game. Paying compliments as well for. Ryota Sakurai. So, uh, Taisa's no information this. Lenga, she was just no better than. So Gashi is getting roasted a little bit here on the Valentine's Day voting. It's actually Ren Kanechka who is Got the smile on his face. <laughs> A loud conclusion to the post-game interview and celebration process for the Jets fans, all of whom pretty much remaining in their seats. And... Autograph for the camera there from Tagashi and then from Xavier Cooks. It's finally Sayonara to the home fans at the Funabashi Arena. They've had an entertaining spectacle, and of course, they got the results.
they really wanted in the end. And our final score, 77-58. With most of the other games across the Japanese B League drawing to a close. Win for Ryukyu just ahead of Chiba in the standings. As we look back on some highlights from the game, that was an early bucket for Togashi from the elbow. Again, he finished with 20 points and three assists. Xavier Cooks, though, got pretty much wherever he wanted inside. 10 of 13 from the field, all of them in pretty close range. Darrell Willis responding at the other end back in the first quarter. Penetration as well from Ren Shimatani. John Mooney, that's such a great feed. Unselfishly finding Cooks for the jam. Three-pointer hits by Shutahara. Only two of eight from the field for Hara on the night. The response came from Willis, who nearly got a double-double tonight. 11 points and nine rebounds in total. There's Mooney inside. He didn't get to the 10-point mark at the end because of that missed free throw, but 9.7 rebounds, two assists. And Togashi outside. He Finished two of nine from outside the three-point arc, but both of the buckets he did make came right at the end of quarters. See the second one momentarily as three-point play. Terrazono, big hit inside, but he absorbed it. Not the bucket to go. At this point, it was a 14-point lead for Chiba, but the stuff for Willis. And Cook's backing off and giving Willis plenty of room in which to maneuver. Ira Brown getting inside. He would finish this game with eight points on three of six shooting. The other end, nice spin and a kind bounce for DeMond Brooks. He got up to 10 points, six rebounds and four assists in the game. But Hara kept coming. Mentioned during the post-game interview there just how much they liked having Hara back in the team as that was the other three-pointer for Togashi. Lavanga thought they were going into halftime down by only seven, but that 30-foot buzzer beater made it 10, the halftime lead for the Jets. Chiba, though, came alive in the third quarter. They cut the deficit down to six points on multiple occasions. That one, the corner three for Kohei Sakino. But the strip by Brown and then front court, he waited and you see Cooks, he was waiting outside the top of the key and then pounced to get another high percentage shot, you could say. Dwight Ramos, the Filipino, eight points on the night, two of six from outside the three point arc. Only one of four inside as Brown connecting from deep to keep Lavanga at bay. And then Hiroto Kikuchi, big basket for Levanga. Terrazono getting the deficit back to just six points. But just when you thought Levanga was still in the game, Chiba poured some gasoline on the fire. Another bucket for Cooks. And then outside, three-pointer from distance for Brown. 14 points now, the lead into the fourth quarter. Ramos connecting again from outside. But Chiba just too strong and specifically Cooks too strong on the interior. Nobody could stop him. Certainly not Daniel Danana on that occasion. And then Cooks backing in, kicking across to Asato Ogawa in the corner. And that really was the final hammer, the final nail in the Levango Hokkaido coffin. I think the result was in any doubt at all as more support from Konechika. 20-year-old hitting 
three-point bucket. And that was that. 77-58, the final score. With the wave to the crowd from Ryoto Sakurai. There are the final stats. Lavanga pretty decent from outside the three-point arc, but not good enough inside when you're only 11 of 29 from two-point range. That's not great. 15 turnovers as well against just eight for Chiba. The 13 second chance points against just two for Lavanga. That did not help the visitors cause it all. The rebounding advantage was significant. Chiba got to the free throw line 19 times. They hit only 12 of them, but only three free throws all game for Lavanga. They just did not have the physicality to hold up inside against the Jets here tonight. Just the three offensive rebounds as well for Lavanga. That's one reason you only get two second chance points in the entire game. There are the top players tonight statistically. Cooks with the 21 points and the three rebounds. Not so many assists for Chiba. Togashi with the three dimes to go with his 20 points. See Sakino, the surprise top scorer for Lavanga with 13. He had not had more than nine points in any previous game this season. Willis with the nine rebounds to go with his decent offensive performance, 11 points. And Shimatani finishing with the four assists for Lavanga Hokkaido. There are the next round of games coming up with Chiba hosting Yokohama Saturday and Sunday. Levanga Hokkaido have to travel to the Ryukyu Golden Kings, and I'm sure Chiba will be rooting for Levanga in those games to come. We will now say goodbye from the Funabashi Arena. I'm Darren Kilfera. Thanks so much for being with us here in the Funabashi Arena tonight. Again, our final score, the Chiba Jets 77, Levanga Hokkaido 58 for our entire production team. Goodbye from Chiba.